Demos Force presents Let's Talk Gaming, the show where we give you a rundown of the latest and greatest games on the market for your viewing pleasure. My name is Mehdi Hassan, I'm back again. Can you hear the tiredness in my voice? Yeah, this game, man. Oh, there's so much to unpack about this game. You know, I think for Demos, for this show, and for my own recreational purposes, I've played almost every remastered game that came out in 2020. This is by far the worst remaster and one of the worst games I have ever played, period. My God, where did they go wrong with this? The original game, while it hasn't aged as well as many people claim to be, there was so much potential in this game to be a great remaster. This is a game that actually needed the remaster because the old one is very clunky and it needs some work done. And I did not go into this game expecting to hate it. I thought it was going to do an amazing job from the trailers. You know what, just let's just talk about the game, okay? Let's just talk about the game. There are many, many cons with this game, but the pros I can only count on one hand. The textures look amazing. The environments are not so great, but the textures are really well done. Good soundtrack. They came back from the original game, so is this a point of the remaster? Not really, but the soundtrack is still, you know, what you loved before if you played the older game. High-res weapon models. The weapon models look amazing. I love how they look, and I like the animations too. They're pretty well done. And... Yeah, that's pretty much it. I legit have to comb through the entire game to just barely bring you like three pros for this game. That's how bad it is. Now, before deciding to review this, I did not play the original game. That's why I don't have any nostalgia for this game, which is a good thing if you're doing an objective review. But still, the day before the remaster is supposed to come out, I downloaded the old game and I played it myself. People say like the game aged exceptionally because of its cell shaded graphics. The game still shows a lot of age. I do not agree with what they say, but this game was the pioneer of cell shaded graphics, which later made their appearance in the Darkness series and most notably, Borderlands. So the game did have a lot of effect on that side of gaming. But the shooting, the stealth, they weren't that great. The story was, it was a cliche spy flick, so there was nothing notable there either. But I do understand why people look so fondly at that game because it's his own thing. It's his own animal. It has its own style. It has its own appeal. It was a decent game for its time and very underrated, by the way. It sold very poorly. That's one of the reasons why there was never a sequel. The con contract also ran out, which is why another company actually developed the remaster for this game. But my f***ing god, what the hell went wrong here? I have no idea. At points, it is so freaking moronic, the direction they went with, that I don't know what the f*** happened. The first thing I saw in the game, okay, I launched it, there was supposed to be this stylized cutscene that plays out to show why 13 is being hunted down, and also the assassination of John F. Kennedy. <coughs> Sorry, I meant Michael Sheridan. They did not remaster that old cutscene. Instead, they animated a guy sitting beside a table with a projector and stared at a screen where the original trailer played with the original clunky ass models. In the beginning of their remaster, they did not remaster the first fucking cutscene. I just saw that and I just knew. Oh, so that's how this remaster is gonna go. This is one of those games. And after playing it, my thoughts still hasn't subsided. Either this game was made on a shoestring budget, or the people who made this game are some of the laziest motherfuckers on the planet. It's like, the way I can describe it, if you ported the old game to a newer engine and put a texture pack on it, that's it. And somehow even broke more things and made things worse than the original game. It's supposed to be impossible for a remaster to do this, but somehow they did. One of the things that made the old 13 game stand out is its style. Obviously, like I mentioned before, it has its cell shaded style, but it also has like this whole comic booky feel. That's the entire style of it. So it's very, very unique. This game, however, it tried to meld the modern style aesthetics with it, but it failed at the points which made the game special. Like, yes, it still has those action bubbles and all that. It still has the shell shaded graphics, but they went to a point where the game doesn't look stylized. It looks like a modern generic shooter. But the game still looks good though. Everything else is the problem. 
The character models have been remade. They don't look as stylized as they did before in the original game. They look very modern, but their faces are also very uncanny valley-like, which is amplified when you realize that these lazy sons of bitches, they did not even add lip syncing to the fucking models. How, how the fuck do you plan on making a remaster if you're not gonna improve upon it? The older cutscenes look better than this. Maybe that's why they played the classic cutscene in the beginning. They're so fucking incompetent with their thumbs up their ass that they can't make anything as good as that. The shooting in this game is subpar. It's your traditional FPS, you know, you point gun, you shoot bad guy, boom, he dead. But oh ho. They made it worse. You would imagine somehow like after 20 years of this kind of games being produced over and over and over again, they would know like how to make a proper FPS game. They even messed it up at that field. I can't describe to you how the game shooting is. I'll just have to show you. Is this game an outdated April Fool's joke? Because if it is, it would make a hell of a lot of sense. These guys were programmed less to be soldiers and more like chimpanzees. They just stand around in place. They rush at you with their like fully automatic rifles, not even shotgunners. Shotgunners shoot you from afar. Sometimes they shoot you through buildings. When you shoot someone behind their back in stealth, they're still like, oh, what happened? I didn't see nothing. Oh, I forgot to mention, stealth. The original game stealth was still a concept. When I played the original game, I did not participate in stealth unless I absolutely have to because it's very clunky. It was understandable why, but I had very high hopes that, you know, since stealth is such a big aspect of this game, I'm sure they will make it tons more better. There's no way this can go bad. They, f they made it worse. They put in stealth that is somehow worse than a 20 year old game. You're supposed to have a silenced pistol, but you cannot put a silencer on it for some reason. Sometimes throwing knives don't work. You throw one, your character doesn't throw another one, even though you have five more throwing knives in your pocket. Sometimes you literally gun down three people, no one gives a shit, and then you accidentally fire a bullet and somehow the entire fortress knows of your location. Far Cry 2 had better stealth than this. Hitman 1 had better stealth than this. Hell, the original game had better stealth than this. It is so inconsistent. The entire game is inconsistent. It's an inconsistent, lazy mess. There's so many audio issues. There is heavy input lag to everything you do. And they ruined the original style of the game. How the fuck do you call this a remaster? It's a texture pack. That's what it is. There is so much missed potential here and it hurts me. I've played good remasters and I've played bad remasters. This is the baddest remaster of them all. This is not like Destroy All Humans where it not only emulates the original with modern technology, but improves upon it in various ways. While that remaster was joy to play, 13 is an awkward jumbled mess. It needed more time in the oven, it needed some extra budget, and at most it needed people that actually cared about the classic and did it justice. Unfortunately, you won't find that here.